Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. It's time for another donation unboxing video. This is all the stuff I got in the P.O. box in the month of March 2022. And I'm going to open all this up and show you what I got. As a reminder, you never have to send me anything. That's never a requirement. In fact, if you have any doubts about sending anything to me, I'd rather the, you didn't. However, if you would like to send something, I will put the address for the P.O. Box on the screen right now. That's where you should send it. Um, and if you send me something, I will open it in a video like this to show my appreciation for, uh, for everything that you do. Uh, things that have been sent to me to the P.O. Box in the past have given me things that I was able to review on the channel. It's been very helpful. Uh, so thank you to everyone who has sent things in. Thank you to everyone who sent this stuff in. And thank you to everyone who hasn't sent things in. I'm just happy to have you here and having you watching this video. So without further ado, let's tear into this stuff and see what you guys sent in. I have cut open all of the boxes and the packages and everything, uh, but I don't know what's inside. So I'm going to start with uh, this one. Uh, this is an envelope. This is from Brandon Knight. Um, and I'm going to pull out a card with a lovely scene on it. Um, and I assume, yes, there is a note in here. Let me read through this really quick. Uh, make sure there's nothing too personal on here before uh, I read it to you. Okay, uh, nothing too personal in here, so I'm gonna read what Brandon wrote here. Dear, dear HCC788, uh, hello. Uh, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Glad you are back having fun again. Look forward to see Cobra Convergence. Would you like to use my idea for this year or next year? Um, just a quick comment on that. Um, the themes and other ideas for Cobra Convergence don't all come from me. Um, that's something that uh, like the group collectively decides on. Uh, it says, I have a request for the month of May. Since May is the month to remember and honor our military, you should review the G.I. Joe original action team set I sent uh, you long ago. Yes, I still have that set. Uh, you have two choices, uh, option one, all five figures in one video, uh, all the variant figures in history of each military branch, option two, uh, review um, each figure each week, thought this was a good way to show love and respect for the military, Yojo, your pal Brandon Knight. That is actually not a bad idea. Um, May is going to be a little bit busy uh, because I have a couple other plans in May, but that it that may work. Um, interesting idea, Brandon. Thank you, thank you for this. Thank you for the card, and thank you for thinking of me. Um, let me see if I can work that in uh, because um, uh, that, that it's possible. That's possible. I do like the idea very much. Um, I just need to make sure it's going to work out in the schedule. Um, now I kind of wish I'd done the schedule a little different so that would definitely work out but let me let me work on that uh thank you very much brandon uh and thank you for your support you've been a supporter for a long time um let's look at this from i don't know uh because when i cut the the package open i, I cut through the person's name so sorry about that um uh, wildrick is the last name um something and i apologize I, let me can i read it Nope, sliced, sliced right through it, didn't I? Um, okay, so anyway, what do we have? We have uh, a t-shirt. Uh, so thank you to uh, Wildrick, uh, and I apologize for cutting through your name and not being able to read it on the package, but let's check out this uh, t-shirt. I like t-shirts. Is it open or do I have to open it? It's a G.I. Joe t-shirt. And, and, it is... Yes, it is Cobra Commander. Check that out. And it is the Cobra Commander. It looks like classified Cobra Commander. I do like that design. I also really dig... I dig this. I know, saw this as soon as I was taking it out of the package. I like the old school Cobra, the enemy uh, logo there on the sleeve. So that is awesome. Uh, I always need more shirts. Um, I, I try to you know, change it up and not wear the same t-shirt in videos too often. Uh, so this is a big help. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, very much appreciate this. I'm going to set this over here carefully so I don't lose it or get it dirty, dirty or anything. Uh, I'm going to move to this one, I guess. Uh, just kind of changing it up here a little bit. And what do we got here? Well, I shouldn't have taken those off. Um, uh, this is from uh, D. 
uh, Domenico. And uh, let's uh, see what's in it. We have some packaging. That's always important. And we have... Hey, 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 cool. We've got a Pop Vinyl Cobra Commander. Uh, you know, I, I, Pop Vinyls are kind of cool for what they are. You know, they are not action figures, but as just sort of standalone uh, collectibles and display pieces, I think they're just fine. And, uh, yeah, I, I can never have too many Cobra Commanders. So, um, this is a, a new and uh, unique uh, large head Cobra Commander. Uh, so, thank you very much for that. I don't know if there's a letter or anything in here to uh, so that I can more adequately thank the person who sent it. Um, I don't see one, but there are some, uh, some things wrapped up in here. What we have... Oh, we have some... Some tracks for a pack rat. It looks like the tracks for the pack rat um, flamethrower, uh, and that's not bad. I think uh, one of the clips on my pack rat flamethrower tracks was uh, was damaged. Oh, and here I think we may have the rest of it. Um, I've been thinking about redoing the review of the the pack rats. I did that review quite some time ago. Yeah, there's the rest of it. Hey, cool. There's the rest of the pack rat flamethrower. Um, I'm not going to redo all every video I've ever done. That would be that would be too much. But there are some, especially those early videos, that I just think. Uh, let me make sure. I have in the past accidentally left things in the box that I was supposed to take out. So now I try to, I try to double check. Um, uh, but there are some yeah there are some videos that I think. Um, should be redone. Uh, I just I feel like I can do them better, especially some of the early videos. One thing that I will say is, um, I don't think I have done a an adequate review of Snake Eyes version one. I have taken a couple shots at that, and uh, I don't I, I don't think any of them really do it justice. This looks speaking of Snake Eyes, this looks like a Black Major custom. Snake Eyes figure, and it's like a Tiger Force Snake Eyes. I kind of wish I... On my old camera, I had a, a remote so I could zoom that in for you, but uh, I don't have that on this camera. But this is a... Uh, looks like a custom Tiger Force Snake Eyes. Very vibrant co colors, and I do believe that's a, a Black Major custom. So, all right, that's interesting. That's cool. Um... Let's see what else we've got. I'm trying to not create a pile of trash. Oh, okay, the, these, this is... Here we go. I believe this this is one of the Loyal Subjects figures. Beachhead. Uh, I don't think I had the Beachhead figure, um, and I, I'm, I'm a fan of Beachhead, so I can never have too many beachhead figures either. So uh, that's cool. The loyal subjects. Um, and uh, last one. Oh, okay. I think I know what this is. This is... These are the accessories for that Snake Eyes figure. So um, at least that's what it looks like. Oh, no. These are the accessories for the, for the loyal subjects figure. Okay, so that's why, that's why they look like beachhead's accessories. We've got the, the satchel. Uh, we've got a, a little beachhead backpack, a pegs on, and we've got a beachhead submachine gun, which uh, doesn't quite fit in his hand, but, you know, you get the idea. Uh, so thank you very much for this, uh, D. I appreciate it. Uh, and all really cool things. And this, um, this pack rat is actually helpful because um, over time being moved around a bit my pack rack a uh, pack rat actually did uh, uh, end up getting broken so this is a big help and could appear in a future video so thank you very much for that next let's do this one uh this is from john uh thank you john uh let's see what we've got in here uh we have hey 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 uh it's a gi joe find your fate book so, uh, guess what we're going to have soon? We're going to have story time. So, uh, some background. Uh, thank you, John. I, I, don't, I never know if people want me to use their, um, their, their actual full name in the video. So, I'll just say John. Thank you. Um, 
a little background in my live stream occasionally I will do story time these find your fate books you know they're like the choose your own adventure books you get to make choices in the story and it affects the outcome uh, and then live streams will do story time and I will let the live chat decide what uh, what choice is made and what the outcome of the story is and I have a few of these books but we've done all of them already uh, in fact, a few we've done a couple times. And I was saying that if I'm going to do story time, I want to do a new book. Well, guess what? This is one that I didn't have. We can have story time again. So thank you very much for this. That is useful, and that should appear soon uh, in an upcoming uh, live stream. So thanks for that. That's awesome. Uh, let's go to um, this one, which is from England. It is from Northumberland, England, and it is from Gary. So thank you, Gary. Um, th this is stuffed, and there is a letter. Uh, and what I usually do is I usually read the letter off screen uh, just to make... There, People have sent me, like... You know, personal information and I don't want to just read that out for everyone so let me read this really quick um, and then I will be right back with you okay thank you for this Gary uh, there's nothing too personal in there but I'll just um, summarize real quick uh, it, it describes a little bit of what's in there um, talks about uh, o-ring figures making a comeback and some uh, of the GI Joe line that was never available in the UK um, he does mention um, the uh, GI Joe's Tiger Force which has the same name as a, a unit that served in Vietnam that became notorious for war crimes that is something that I pointed out uh, in I think it was the review of the um, the Tiger Cat in Frostbite version 2 um, I, I'm also a little bit troubled by that and um, although I don't think G.I. Joe's Tiger Force directly took their name from that, it is a hell, a hell of a coincidence, and you correctly point that out here, Gary. Uh, so thank you for this, and uh, it, oh, he talks a little bit about um, Steel Brigade. I, I kind of see where you're coming uh, with Steel Brigade there as well. Uh, so thank you for this. Um, also, I, I should have mentioned, um, anything that you write to me uh, that comes in these packages i do keep these i don't throw any of these away uh every piece of writing including the card that i got there and this letter um those are all kept by me um in a safe place i have a place uh, like a folder that they all go into and i i keep those and i intend to keep those forever but let's see what gary sent um he sent yeah uh these little what are these even called? These are, are mini figurines. Uh, these have been out uh, somewhat recently, and this is this is a UK release. That one is Duke. Um, and although I probably should keep these on the card, there is Destro. I'm curious about them, and I, I have seen them. I've seen pictures of them around, although I haven't seen any out in the wild. Uh, and I've been curious about them, and my curiosity will get the better of me, and I will want to, um, I will want to actually open these up and just see what they are about. There is Roadblock, and these seem to be like, um, are they? These seem to be like vintage inspired. I don't think they are, you know, the classified design. I think they are uh, like a retro. Uh, design on these, but I'm very curious. Um, that was uh, that was Snake Eyes. Here is a Red Ninja, uh, and the Red Ninja actually does look a bit like the classified Red Ninja. Um, and I think, oh no, we're not done. We're not done. And finally, uh, Cobra Commander. And this Cobra Commander is definitely uh, inspired by the classified design. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you very much for these, Gary. Uh, I am going to open these up. I'm just too curious about them, um, and I want to see them. Uh, so thank you very much for sending these to me, um, and um, and thank you for the letter, and uh, thanks for all you do. Thank you again very much. I am going to hold off on this one. This one is big, and it's, it's kind of heavy too, uh, so that one may have more in it and may take uh, a bit to go through. So I'm going to try to get to some of these uh, smaller ones, and this one is from Australia. 
So we are continuing with the international flavor. Uh, this is from Rob. Uh, thank you very much, Rob. I do know who you are. I do know that you are um, in the live chats uh, in, on the live streams quite often, and I appreciate it very much. Uh, so what we have here is um, an Australian flag. Hey, that's cool. Hey, I dig this. Uh, so, so thank you for this. Um, it's making me feel patriotic uh, for a, a country that, that, you know, I wasn't born in and I don't live in. But still, it still makes me feel patriotic. Thank you. Uh, thank you for this. And we have a letter. Uh, and as usual, I will read through this uh, really quick just to make sure uh, there's nothing too personal in here. And I'll be right back with you. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Rob. Uh, nothing too personal in here, but he does describe a little bit of what's in there. Uh, and uh, I also hope I make it to Joe Fest, so thank you very much, Rob, for this. I will be keeping your lovely letter here uh, from, the, the, from the, the grand country of Australia, the grand continent of Australia. And we have some Australian snacks. You know what that means. That, you know what that means. It's snack time. It is, what is that? Uh, we have dinosaur gummies. Um, we have Carmelo Koala. Um, what could be more Australian than that? Uh, we have uh, Tim Tam. And we have some non-edibles. Uh, what do we got here? We have... I do believe that is Nemesis Enforcer. Look at that. Uh, yeah. So we have a Nemesis Enforcer. Pretty good condition on that one, too. We have a Nemesis Enforcer, and within the Nemesis Enforcer package, we have a, uh, a guitar pick. Now, I, I don't uh, play the guitar myself, but my daughter does. Uh, and she, uh, you know, I think I'm going to gift this guitar pick to my daughter who can actually use it. Um, so thank, thank you for that, Rob. Uh, I am going, I'm going to do a taste test on these guys uh, here in a moment after, after I open the non-perishables. Um, and this, hey, um, I just recognized what this is. These are, uh, if I can open it, there we go. Yeah, these are the, the little... Um, mini figurines that used to come with with figures in the late 80s there's uh there's destro and quick kick uh i really wish i could zoom in on these because they're tiny um yeah um and honestly i don't have very many of these and it's really cool to get there are a couple cobra troopers um and hey check this out the command rings too uh these are also bonuses within um a package with figures. What's this one? This is um, Destro Targat. Uh, this is uh, the shuttle. Uh, the Defiant, I guess. I assume that's the Defiant. Um, the writing is really tiny. Um, it just says, oh, it just says G.I. Joe Shuttle Crew. I like that. I like that. And uh, this, what is this one? A tank Core. And I like that green color. Uh, we got more of these. We've got Cobra Commander. We've got Snake Eyes. Um, I have a couple of these, but not very many. Um, we've got Repeater and Roadblock and a Cobra Bat. I should try... If I review any of these... Oh, that's not Repeater. That's, uh, that's Rock and Roll. Um, I, I should include the many... Uh, figurines too. Uh, we got Gung Ho and a Crimson Guard and Major Blood. I do like the sculpting on these, and the paint is not bad too. Um, it's obviously it's not hyper detailed, but it's more detailed than you would expect on such a small mass-produced product. And we've got we're army building these Cobra Troopers now. Dig that, and. Uh, what's that one? Arctic Force and another shuttle crew. Um, I really dig these. Uh, I've, I've been curious about these. I haven't been actively com collecting them, but I've been very curious 
about these. I mean, I guess you would call them ephemera, but these are still collectibles, uh, in my opinion. And, um, and these are great. Uh, this gives me an opportunity to actually look at these up, up close and, you know, kind of see what they're all about. So thank you very much for, uh, for this, Rob. And no, I haven't forgotten. Now it's time to try the snacks. Okay, what shall we try first? I'm going to try the uh, Caramello Koala. Uh, I'm curious about these. These seem to be uh, both the same, so I'm going to open one of them. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's check this out. Uh, it is chocolate, as expected. Uh, let me break off a, a piece of it. Oh, it's, it's caramel filled. Um, this is a winner. Thank you for sending two of these so that I can eat both of these. That's really good. I like that a lot. Let's now try the Natural Confectionery Company Dinosaurs. Uh, so let's open this up. I do generally like dummies, so let's um, let's get into the packaging here and try them out. All right, so we've got a number of flavors here. Let's try let's try a couple of them. Um, and we have a red one that is a, in the shape oh of um, a T Rex, I think. So let's see what a, a red T Rex tastes like. Hey, that makes him Devil Dinosaur. Huh, how about that? Oh, that's kind of a cherry flavor. I do like that. That's really good. I can't try all of these because there are a lot of them. Um, but let's try, let's try one more. Let's try this uh, purple Stegosaurus, I think. Um, which I assume is a grape flavor. And I'm always curious about how candy companies try to do grape flavor because often they don't end up tasting anything like actual grapes so let's see how this does i do believe that is supposed to be grape um it, it is it's not like a real grape flavor but as for like not quite real grape flavor that's really not too bad um these are good and i like i like this kind of thing as like a change up from just eat, like chocolate uh, I eat chocolate. Uh, chocolate's good, but having a change of pace like this very refreshing. We've got one more to try. We have Tim Tam. <laughs> Let's try Tim Tam here. What does this say? Uh, made with irresistible real chocolate. So it's uh, I I should not be able to resist it. Also, there is there is no substitute. Um, so I, I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare try to substitute. So let's see what Arnott's Tim Tam is like. It looks like a kind of a, a cookie thing, like a wafer. Uh, but let's see. It's in a tray. Uh, let's take one. Uh, and let's take a bite. Let's see. It is. It's like uh, two cookie wafers um, san with a, like a chocolate cream filling sandwiched in there. Um, and that is tasty. That's more um, flavorful than I was expecting. No, this is really good. So, like, all of this is really good. Um, and as soon as I'm done with this video, I, I intend to eat all of it. I should probably have lunch first. Uh, but after lunch, I'm, I intend to eat all of this. Uh, this is so awesome. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for all this. And just thank you for... Uh, the support that you've shown for a really long time. I really appreciate you being around, and, and, and thank you. Thank you very much. I'm moving on to this one. This is from Alliance Game Distributors. Uh, it doesn't have the name of the person who sent it, but I believe this is uh, was sent by Chris from uh, the YouTube show Comic Tropes. Uh, so um, I believe I know what this is, but I want to thank Chris um, in advance. Uh, Chris has been a really good guy and a very good friend, um, even when I have not been able to reciprocate very well, because um, it, it's been a difficult year, it's been a difficult couple of years, and uh, I probably haven't been the best uh, and most supportive friend, but Chris has still stuck with me. Um, he has an excellent YouTube show. You should check it out. You're probably already checking it out, but if you haven't, you should check it out. Chris is a great guy, uh, and I just appreciate um, uh, everything, everything that he's done for me uh, and just everything he does in general. So thank you, Chris, uh, for this, and let's open it up. I believe, yes, I slid it across 
that piece of tape and there's another piece of tape which I should have checked before I started this video but I didn't and um, I think it comes up easier wow um, this is I will say this is well this is well packaged I will give them that regardless of what is in the package it is definitely well packaged. They, they seal this up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. This is, let's move this over here. This is the uh, core rule book for the G.I. Joe role-playing game. This is the new role-playing game. Uh, I have been very curious about this. Uh, I wasn't able to uh, order it or pre-order it. Uh, so Chris uh, jumped on this and got it for me uh, so I can check this out. Um, I am going to check this out. It's a big, heavy book. Um, it is uh, wrapped in plastic. I'm not going to peel the plastic off just yet, uh, but I will be doing that soon. Um, but um, thank you for this, Chris. Uh, and for those of you who watch the channel, we will be looking at this. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to check it out. Um, but thank you for Chris, thank you for this, and, and just thank you for everything. Um, I, I don't reach out to you as much as I should, and I will try to do better at that. Uh, but thank you, um, really, thanks for everything. Next we have this, and this is from William Jackson. William, thank you very much, and uh, I got it open at this end, and I am going to open it. Oh, I see what it is. I know immediately what this is. This is the G.I. Joe Retro Walmart exclusive Cobra Fang. Um, yes, I have been curious about this. This is almost a total remodel of the classic Cobra Fang. This is not, this doesn't use the mold of the classic Cobra Fang. And it has a pirate, uh, not a pirate, I mean it could have a pirate, but it has a pilot. Uh, it has the Cobra pilot, it just says Cobra pilot. Um, yeah, that's uh, the creatively named Cobra Pilot, who actually has a a file card. And yes, I um, you know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to do a, an uh, unboxing and assembly video of this uh, because I want you guys to see it. I've been curious about it, and I'm going to check this out. Uh, so genuinely, thank you for this, and this will uh, absolutely provide content for a future video. And, yeah, it's really going to be enlightening, I think, to see how they updated this classic vehicle uh, to sort of make it modern. So, so awesome. Thank you very much for this. That brings us to this big final box. And on the box it says, do not read info in video. So I won't. Uh, so I will not be reading that person's uh, information. Uh, let's see what we've got. Uh, I do not see anything immediately except for uh, a piece of paper and an envelope of some kind. And let's see, this is probably a letter. Um, and uh, once again, I will read this privately uh, before I share any contents with you. Uh, be right back. Okay, after reading this letter, uh, he does say I can uh, read this in the video. So it says, greetings again, HCC788, greetings. Uh, I know this. Uh, um, I know this unboxing is after the fact, but happy birthday! Thank you very much. My birthday was last month, so thank you. Uh, the month in which I received these items. Thank you. Uh, thank you. That's very nice. Um, overlooked a dome figure. Uh, oh, I, I overlooked a dome figure last month, so it's included. Unfortunately, I do not have the Destro or the Rare Chase dome to send. Maybe someone else can help you with those. So thank you, though. Thank you for what you what you did. Uh, there are a few larger items, plus a set of something uh, to scale with Vintage Joes uh, you may have overlooked. I'll bet I did. I'm very curious. I also had something on hand your daughter should like, so I have included that as well. She does like getting stuff. Uh, the last two years have been hard on everyone. I know you've had also uh, uh, had extra troubles on your own uh, on top of that. No doubt she has had to deal with a lot of stress too, so a little extra... Uh, her way might help her. I would hope other uh, donators think of her if they can include some little extras in their package too. Uh, Diosoth 
and um, oh, it provides his um, his private email. Uh, awesome, thank you very much. This is I'm very curious now. I'm very curious. Um, so we have an envelope. Okay, this appears to just be an envelope. So I'm. Uh, there's nothing in there, uh, and this, uh, oh, well, I thought this might just be for extra padding, too, but there is something in here. Um, hey, <laughs> uh, dig these, check these out. Now, yeah, this is definitely something I would have overlooked, but uh, it's something that I am interested in. We've got some Masters of the Universe, like the, the new uh, Masters of the Universe. Look, there's, there's He-Man. And there's guy whose name I don't know. <laughs> uh, these are cool. They're like, they're chunky like the original vintage figures, but they're articulated more like a modern figure. Let me see if I can get these guys to stand. Oh, they stand really easily. They have big flat feet. That works. Stand. There we go. And there's uh, there was an alternate head and a, a gun and a battle axe. Um alternate head for, for He-Man there. Uh, so yeah, and I can see right off the top here, there is also uh, a, a battle cat, uh, a modern battle cat. That, that just looks fierce. Um, I, I've always had a curiosity about Masters of the Universe. Um, I wasn't allowed to play with them as a kid, so I didn't really have it. Well, I had one. I had Ram Man for some reason, uh, but I didn't have any others. Uh, and I didn't watch the cartoon. I actually watched the cartoon as an adult, and I actually I ended up really liking it. Uh, He-Man has a totally different vibe from G.I. Joe, uh, and uh, and I can appreciate it for what it's for what it is. It's its own thing. It's its own universe. Its own has its own character. Um, and uh, yes, I've been very curious about it. So uh, that's awesome. Thank you very much for that. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, we've got some uh, some cards. Um, uh, looks like uh, some Transformers cards. Uh, yeah, we've got Transformers cards, and we've got... Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. We've got some Masters of the Universe, some little uh, booklets here that look like they come with the figures. Um, these are sometimes a fun read. Uh, so there are those, and um, okay, I got that's empty. I can set that aside. Um, and we've got some packing material. Very good. Glad we have plenty of packing material. Um, we have. Oh, okay. Um, I can see some of the things that you said are in scale, uh, and we have some like weapons packs from Final Faction. Alpha Team 1, Air Assault, that's an Air Assault pack. Uh, looks like it's in G.I. Joe scale. You're right, I, I, don't think, I don't think I've ever seen these. Sergeant Ruck, Final Action. Uh, looks like a guy in like a, in battle armor. This is, this is interesting. This is like a, a whole new world for me. I've never seen these. Uh, we've got a Synthoid, looks like a, an alien robot looking dude. And uh, some weapons. Looks like some weapons to attach a synthoid pack. So I guess, I guess these go together. And oh, there are a ton of them. I'm gonna show all of them. Uh, that's what this video is for. We're gonna show all of them. Quake arms. Uh, Final faction. Um, we've got these weapons packs. So we've got figures and weapons packs. This is. Uh, Karn. It looks like a just an alien zombie looking guy. Um, really good sculpting on these figures, uh, at least from what I can tell from the outside packaging. I have no idea what the uh, what the articulation will be like, but um, as a kid, I would really have liked these guys because I was always looking for extra guys. You know, just extra troops or like different bad guy factions uh, or allies for G.I. Joe that would come in and join the battle, um, which is why I, I would pick up, you know, the, the core figures, the Remco figures from time to time. That's wicked. Uh, what is this guy? Brute. Like a huge alien dude. Um, so, 
Yeah, something like this I definitely would have used um, as like a, a side faction of G.I. Joe or, you know, just some, uh, some other army that would be involved in the battle. Uh, like that is, this is substantial. This is a carded figure, but it is it's substantial. This and we've got some some additional weapons like an accessory pack there. Um, and there's so many. And yeah, another accessory pack, covert ops. Looks like uh, it looks like you can kind of assemble this into a small vehicle. Uh, so wow, that's awesome. And that's not all. There's there's more in here. I'm gonna take out the uh, the packing material. I'm glad you. I'm, it's, I'm grateful that you include enough packing material because you never know how the postal service is going to treat your package. You kind of have to armor plate it, you know what I mean? Um, so we've got... Ah! <laughs> yeah, okay. This is uh, for Audrey. Oh, we've got... Oh, hey. Before we get to that, we have... Um, we have another figure here astronaut guy i think this uh is a loose figure from from that set that we had and this is um I, well it, i think this is the jada toys um metal figurines and since we have let's see oh it's, it's over there i can't reach it uh since uh we have the vintage mini figurines um I'd like to stack this next to that vintage Destro and just uh, compare them side to side. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, and I did see uh, this uh, for my daughter, which she, she may indeed very much like. We looks like we have Tinkerbell in there. Uh, and uh, let's see. Here are... Oh, yeah. Here's the dome figure, the roadblock um, that was mentioned in the letter. Um, and... Uh, and we have some batteries uh, for this, and I believe that's it. Oh, uh, no, 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 that's not it. I can see I missed one of the metal figures. There is the Baroness. Uh, so, wow, that is just overwhelming. And that's it. That's everything. That's everything we got in the month of March. But my goodness, it is a lot. This is the biggest haul we've had in quite some time. Uh, so thank you to everyone uh, who sent all of this stuff in. Uh, several of you have been around for a while. Uh, you've supported the channel for uh, quite some time. Uh, I really appreciate you and everything you do. Um, you don't have to do anything. None of this is required. Um, it's just something that you do because you're nice and I, I just I'm very grateful uh, so thank you for this um, if you feel like sending something here in the month of April this is April now um, you can send it to the PO box address that will be on your screen right now you never should feel obligated to send anything if you do send something I will open it in a video like this and show my appreciation very very kind of the people that uh, that do this if for any reason you cannot send anything or don't want to send anything, I'm just happy to have you here. I'm grateful that we are on this journey together. So thank you very much. I'm going to wrap this up now. I'm going to have some more of that candy. Uh, thanks, you guys. You guys are awesome. I will see you soon. And until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.